Good morning, everybody. This is Andrew Thomas with the Great Lakes Hunting Beekeeper Association. Just getting ready to test out the new engraver we received yesterday from the manufacturer. They turn on and donate it to our organization so we can go ahead and test it out and use it to label our equipment. Uh, we've purchased quite a bit of equipment from them in the past, so they just want to help us out, they said. So that was pretty sweet. Went outside, got done, just got done, filling up the outside feeders for the bees. Weather's not ideal to go out into the hives right now, so I'm hoping it will warm up just a little bit more before I go out there. But for now, I want to run a couple of setting tests on here, see how this will work, and engraving our logo and images onto our boxes. The machine came pretty much all ready. It has an LED display. It came inside Chinese and everything for the language. It actually let me switch that on the LED display pretty quickly. And all I had to do was mount the arm with a couple of screws and the feet underneath here. It came with safety glasses, all the wires you needed, the plugs, the powers, pretty much ready to go around the box. Um, I went ahead and tested it out with the LED display. That actually worked really nicely. Uh, I have it hooked up to my laptop right now so we can start doing our images. I was able to switch the language over from to English right, right away. It was very simple how to do it. Um, there's a couple different setting modes on here. So I'm just kind of show you for processing the picture wise. I'm not sure how that's turning on. Or... So the black and white, the street and green, which is what it's on now, and then the outline and sketch mode. Laser power, the carbon depth right now is at 50%, laser power is at 100%. Uh, let's go ahead and preview. This will show you in the print area where it's going to be gravy. At 100% power, 100% depth, it took just under 12 minutes. But it's just an overburn on the B logo. So, and that was inside black and white. So right now I'm using discrete engraving. Gave me a little bit more depth on the picture or enhancement, I guess. So let's go ahead and click on start and see how long this will take and see how well it works. Right now it's buffering. Send the image over to the laser. The manufacturer actually provided a lens because they know I do like, different videos and stuff. The only video I could find on YouTube for this was from the manufacturer and one of the sellers but it went so fast, you just didn't know what they were doing, and then when they were doing it, it was in Chinese, so you couldn't see what they were doing on their computer, really. It's kind of a guessing game. But once they got the software here and hooked it up, it was actually pretty simple to figure out. There's a few different programs on there. We're also able to connect by Wi-Fi to it with their mobile phone, so that's kind of cool. I had to figure out how to scan a QR code with my phone. I figured out once a long time ago that I can't get it going right now, so I have to figure it out again. Came with safety glass and everything, but since I'm watching through the phone, I'm not worried about it. I'm not staring directly at it. Manufacturer did tell me that if you are going to engrave on glass, to take a dry erase pen and mark your engraving area with the dry erase black pen or black marker, and then wipe off the dry erase marker after engraving, and it's supposed to work. So we'll see. I'm going to test it on some jars here when I get some more free time. Not a big priority right this minute. My main thing is making sure we can mark our boxes with our logos and other equipment. You're able to engrave in wood, plastic, um, metal, glass, stone, bunch of stuff. This is uh, again a 3 watt laser, or 3000 milliamps I believe.
doesn't give off much fumes. I'm going to go and do it right in my kitchen on top of my chest freezer because it's a metal surface. That's at 100% by 50. It's not bad. It will work for what I need it to do. Well, let me know what you guys think. Anyone ever use one of these? Any suggestions? Any recommendations? Always open to ideas. So, hopefully this will help out a couple other people looking to find out how to use it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try to answer anything I can. But until next time, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm going to head back outside and get some more gear built up. More boxes, lots and lots of boxes building. Never ending. So, all right, talk to y'all later. Have a great day.